uh, Paul, thanks for talking to MTD CNC Global today. I wanted to find out more for our for our audience about what this new product is here from Herco that you're offering. Can you give us an overview of what it is and what it does? This is the Pro Cobots automation system. It's a collaborative robot that's uniquely connected to the Herco CNC machine. Now there's a, there's a lot of Cobots in the, in the marketplace. You, you've got two elements to this. We've got the hardware which we can visibly see. The software is one of Herco's strengths throughout industry. Does that apply here as well, the communication between the machine and the Cobot? Absolutely. Herco has gone and developed our own job manager software. This piece of software does the coordination between the robot control and the CNC control. Okay, now how does that differ maybe to some other offerings in the marketplace? Where are the advantages to what you've just said? We're using a network-based communication. It's Industry 4.0. It allows us to share more rich data between the two controls and to do a higher level of coordination for high mix, low uh, to medium sized volume batches. Okay, now is there much preparation that needs to be done on the machine? Because what can happen is, this is obviously a mobile unit, you can move it from machine to machine, that's the idea. But what's the work involved in the interfacing? It's really very simple. That piece of software can run right on our control. We would run that, that software on either machine that you want to put this robot unit up to. Right, and then you'd wheel it from one machine to the other. Is it then, do, do you then clamp it to the floor, fix it to the floor, is there a break on it? Once you've applied that, how do you then get the parts or program the unit? Right, so it can be just, it's, it's a very solid unit, it does not necessarily need to be clamped to the floor. You just lift the wheels, it's a little ratchet system to lift the wheels off the floor and it's, it's stable. And then you connect the network connection, air, and then everything's ready to go. You just need to teach it the new position, that's it. And is that how you program it then? Would you move the arm to where you want to pick the, the billet up from and then move that then into the machine? Is that how you do it? It's as simple as that. You just move it into teach a, a few uh, simple positions and it's ready to go. And then that message will be then turned into code for when it comes back to take the part out and put another part back in. Exactly. Um, with the hardware, I've got 30, 30 positions here, I believe, or maybe slightly less than that. Can I have more than that? Can I, can I get these units bigger? Or Because 30 might, I might machine 30 parts in an hour, so and I want to run it through the night. We have a variety of uh, different solutions from drawer systems for higher capacity, or you can even change out the, uh, the uh, pocket pl uh, platter on top and for a different template with more pockets or what have you. It really depends on whatever you need. There's a solution there. And first thing that would probably spring to a lot of engineers' minds that haven't seen this sort of thing before, what about the health and safety? Am I going to come in and is that going to hit my operator? Am I going to have a claim against me? How do you protect yourselves against that type of thing? There's a lot of different layers for protection. We can provide safety mats, area scanners, but it's also a collaborative robot that is designed to stop on any contact. Okay, now the first market for you is your home market. Is this going to be rolled out in America quite, quite soon? It's rolled out already in USA and we're beginning our rollout for uh, Europe as well now. 